Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We are doing the last video of makeup under $10. In this video today, we're gonna to be talking the rest of drugstore product that is under a $10 price point. This is the one that I have been looking forward to the most. I am excited to bring to you all of these great eyeshadow formulas, mascaras, and lip products. I did do two other videos. They were all about foundation, primer, concealer. So I have one video all about that. That's part one. Part two is blush, bronzer, highlighter. And now we are into part three, all about the eyes and the lips. So eyes and lips. If you like unfiltered makeup opinions and honest reviews, subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video. I want to save the best category for last. So let's talk about lips first, which is something that I always tend to forget. I haven't forgotten about it like recently, but I have forgotten about it in the past and I'm just like, what am I doing? Where are we going? Why do I always forget? I have lips. This is what I speak with my mouth with. So let's talk about lips. I am super picky when it comes to any kind of like lip formula. It needs to deliver on pigmentation, it needs to deliver on creaminess, and it can't accentuate my dry lips. Because let's face it, I don't want dry lips. So I do have some great lip product for you today, and let's start out with some of my favorite lip liners, and those come from Essence Cosmetics. This is the Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner supposed to be waterproof and with these specific lip liners they are actually retractable which makes them really easy to travel with you don't need a sharpener but if you do want to get like a really fine tip point you just pull off the bottom here and you can sharpen the lip liner I've never really had a need for that like ever but these are very pigmented very smooth I love that they're retractable I think that's like my favorite feature about it and you can't go wrong really with any of the lip liners from Essence now this is in the shade unforgettable it's a very like pink tone. I'm wearing it today with just a lip gloss on top. So it's a little bit lighter than my natural lips, but it's really, really pretty. Now their sharpener lip liners are also a really great formula. And those are only like a couple dollars. I think they're $1.99 or maybe even like 99 cents. They're really good. Then the other liner formula that I absolutely love comes from Maybelline. These are their Color Sensational lip liners again the packaging is retractable so it makes it so easy to travel with this is more of a mauve shade for me the as you can tell like i have a trend but i really i really like this shade right here it's 130 dusty rose and it really is like this beautiful almost reminds me of that like 90s grungy lip color and this one also has a sharpener if you ever need to sharpen your lip liner. Again, I have not felt a need to do that, but this one's very matte, creamy. Both of these are super, super long lasting and they're like two of my favorite eyeliner formulas. And for lipstick, from Essence I have these two. These are their bullet lipsticks. Any of their lipsticks in, in general are just so beautiful because they do come in like this very, very like it's almost like glossy, but it can be a little bit matte as well. So we have Freaky, which is 01, and then I also have Amazing, which is number 11. I like these like mauve lip tones. I know, like I'm just obsessed with them. And these are just so pretty on your lips. These ones are more of a, they're not matte, they're more of like a glass lipstick. They're both so pretty. Look at these, like they're just, they're so pretty. Sorry about the other lip swatches, they won't come off. <laughs> These ones right here, which I can mention those because I think they're under $10 in like certain places. So we'll talk about those. But I love the Essence lipstick formula because they are so satin and they're smooth and they don't settle into my dry lips at all. Like they're just, they're so pretty and affordable. And then also speaking of like super affordable is the Wet n Wild bullet lipsticks. This is the Mega Last Mega Matte. Now this one actually broke and I was really, really disappointed in the fact that it like broke so I am going to try and fix it but they are so 
so freaking beautiful. This is in the shade Bear It All. This is actually a really similar shade to uh, Pillow Talk. And it is a gorgeous matte formula. Goes on so buttery, so smooth. It really is just like this, it's this shade right here. It really is just like a beautiful formula. For liquid lipstick, I really, really, really like the ColourPop Luxe Velvet Lipsticks. These are just so smooth and buttery. They are very, very easy to apply. You can do a wash of color or you can really build it up. So you can make it look more like a stain. You can build it up and it looks really opaque. They're so stunning on your lips. This is in the shade Buttercup. It's a very grungy, reddish pink shade. And like I said, you can actually diffuse it out so it looks more like a lip stain. And another liquid lipstick that I believe, you can find it in certain places that are under $10 on Ulta, they're not, but at Walmart they are under $10 or Target. And it is the new Maybelline Vinyl Ink lipsticks. These are three sample shades that I have here. They're, some of them are from like the new line and some of them are from the old line. My first one was like a super bright red, beautiful shade, like 1940s classic lip. And that one, lasted all day long. It was so beautiful. It is like the most long lasting lipstick I have ever seen. It wasn't even drying. It was just, it was such a great formula and it faded so beautifully throughout the day. I wish I could find it. I don't know where it went. As far as lip glosses go, again, this is one where certain retailers, it is under $10. It's worth a mention because you can find it for under $10 and it is the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Retails right at $10 if you go to uh, Target, if you go to Walmart. And this is just such a beautiful natural formula. And this is in 011 Brass. Oh, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it does plump your lips and makes them look full and juicy. This, this shade right here, it is so pretty. It's a pink to a like golden shift to it. And it's just so flattering on your lips, especially if you just pair it with one of these lip liners. And it just, it gives you a lot of like dimension to your lips. Very natural, very, it's very easy to work with. And then speaking of lip gloss formulas, this is also the Lux formula. It's a Lux lip gloss formula. This is from the So Fly collection called Gleam On. And this is like an orange color of lip gloss. It goes on pretty, you know, transparent, see-through. But I really do like this formula as well because it's just so natural and pretty. And I actually have a lot of their Lux lip glosses when I got to the ColourPop Rob Beauty Christie collection. And I really liked the clear one that she had with that one as well. So those are really beautiful lip glosses. I really enjoy them. And then I just found this one. It is a fun one. It's from Essence. You can find it on Ulta or on Essence's website. But this is the Ursula Villains Electric Color Changing Lipstick. Look at the sparkle in here. This is just so fun. And I had to mention it because of how fun it is. But this does not change. This is literally just, it's clear. It doesn't actually change at all. But it's great as like you could do it over a lip liner just so it gives it a little bit of a tint. It does reflect some of the like sparkles in it. So like beware of that. But it's it's just a really, really fun lipstick to play with. And I did find that it really just like nourished my lips more like a lip gloss would or even like a chapstick over a lip liner. And it was so pretty. I love how it has the sparkles in it. It's just, and it's Ursula, it's a little mermaid. So I was like, Gotta have it. Eyeshadows are the hardest to find at the drugstore under $10. So there aren't a lot of eyeshadows that I have in my collection that are under $10. A lot of them, the eyeshadow palettes range from like $14 and above. That's my ColourPop collection. But there are some really great eyeshadows for under $10. Actually, they're really, really affordable. So let's start out with one of the most affordable eyeshadow formulas that you can find at the drugstore. And it comes from Essence. Essence in general is like this really affordable drugstore brand and they just have so many good products with great quality that are like high-end quality. They're not like mediocre, they're, they're very high-end quality. So today we're gonna, we're talking about 
the little six pan palettes from Essence. If you haven't heard about these before, they've been all over YouTube, all over the internet for the past year. They did come out in 2020. I have Taupe It Up. This is the only variation of the six pan palettes that I do have, but these retail for $4 and they are beautiful. I have this one on my eyes today paired with another affordable eyeshadow palette and this one comes with a full size mirror. It comes with six shades and I like this one because it's the taupe version. It's very like gray cool toned. I love a good cool tone and it's very travel friendly but you can find these six pan palettes in other variations and other color stories. There's blue, there's green, there's coral, there's purple. I mean, there's a lot of variations of this one and they're all $4. These are the little bite size formula eyeshadows. Because they increase their prices, everything went up a dollar. These are now $4 for four shades, so it makes them a dollar a shade. But they have, these, these, these are so good. These actually blew up the internet in 2021 because of how beautiful the formula is and e.l.f. really outdid themselves with the formula of these palettes. If their larger palettes were as good as these, like they would sell off the shelf like in a heartbeat. They would be, they would be gone all the time like these ones are. I have rose water and this one is cream and sugar. So this one's really neutral. This one's very like mauve purple. The foils in here are so stunning. They are like metal on your eyes. They're so beautiful. The mattes blend out perfectly. Each of these color stories really comes with a great variety of color as well. I've always thought that this one was a dupe for the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. I actually have a duped video of this one up on my channel. I will link it for you. And then we have Rose Water. This is the other one that I have. These are the two color stories that I do have, but they have a lot more. They have like a pumpkin spice one. That one's like gorgeous. They have ones with like different pops of blue. They have neutral ones. These bite size shadows, the payoff is great. They're super affordable, easy to travel with. Another really great neutral formula or neutral color story is another one from Essence, but I, I couldn't include this as like, a, like the least expensive one because it's actually like a $7 palette or $6 palette. But this is one that came out with like a collection and it's the Coffee to Glow collection. But this is a cute little neutral palette. And this has the same quality of shadow as their little six pan palette. So I had to bring it out and I had to show you just like nobody talks about this palette like ever. This is such a great warm toned neutral mini palette. The foils in here are stunning. It does have that really weird like jelly consistency that you see in some of those Huda Beauty palettes as well, which I thought was really interesting that they were mimicking something like that in an Essence palette. Um, right now, mine is just like that gel. It hasn't really gotten into the bead portion, which is supposed to like color it and make it feel a little bit more like a cream shadow. So that one is kind of like a mute point in this shadow. So you really only get seven usable shades, but still look at those foils. They're as good as the bite size palette. And then more on the pricier side of things, but really fun, travel friendly makeup. The Maybelline Shadow Blocks. Now these are honestly to me, I feel like Maybelline was mimicking the Kaja Bento eyeshadow stacks or even like the Wander Beauty double date stacks. I feel like they were kind of like mimicking a formula like that. The shadow stack that I do have is the 82nd and Park Avenue. So it is very much like you have a skin tone shade, you flip it, you get a, this is like a shimmer foily shade and it's a very like pinkish shade. And then I also have like a matte brown shade. Now the quality of these is really, really good. They are very blendable. The shadow stacks retail for $10 at Walmart. And it is a really easy like travel friendly one. The only thing I really wish that they had done with this was actually put a mirror like in the top here and maybe have made the packaging a lot less like bulky and they could have made it round so that it kind of, it did look like these and it was a little bit more travel friendly and not so like cheap plastic. I think they could have done a little bit better job of like the packaging, especially at the price point. But for $10, you get three shadows, which isn't like Breaking the bank by any means, but if you're somebody who loves just like a neutral color story, these are such a great way to go because you just get three, 
You have three shadows. They're super easy to travel with. They have a whole bunch of different variations. I just happened to get this one, which is a very neutral, very, very neutral color story. Let's talk about cream eyeshadows because I love cream eyeshadows and you can't really find very many anymore. Maybelline actually had a formula. It was the color tattoo or something like that. They were like five or six bucks. This was like years ago and I was like, oh, they got rid of those. And then I found this and I mentioned this in another video. It was a speed review. It is the Burt's Bees Cream Shadow. This is the shade Grows Cream and I was actually looking. I think this is a shade dupe for dupe for the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury. She has a champagne color that's really, really similar. I was looking at it in Sephora the other day and I was like that champagne color. It's in Sephora and I was like this this is a dupe. This has to be a dupe. It's so similar to the Eyes to Mesmerize. It's a very beautiful cream formula. Goes on with a cream, finishes to a powder. It's just a wash of color and it can be like your, your one and done eyeshadow. It's really great to use for that cold weather makeup. I actually used it in a cold weather makeup and it's just a very neutral beautiful shade and it, it's so long lasting. It doesn't accentuate. It doesn't settle into anything weird on my eyes at all. Like any creases, any fine lines. It's just, it's so beautiful. All right. Now we are into one of my favorite categories, which is mascara. And I rave about this brand all the time. They're just one of my favorites in general. And I do have some other mascaras to do as like an honorable mention because they're right around that $10 price point, but I don't actually have the physical product anywhere because I go through mascaras a lot more than I do other makeup. One of my favorite mascara formulas comes from Essence Cosmetics. There's a lot of Essence in my videos because Essence is, again, one of the best drugstore affordable brands with high quality product in it. But their Lash Princess mascara line is beautiful. Some of my favorites from the Lash Princess mascara line, there's the pink one, which is curl and volume. This is better than sex, but it's better than better than sex. Like this is so beautiful. Volumizes, curls your lashes, really just like extends them and makes them look really full and beautiful. And then this one is the one that I'm currently using. I have it also in that speed review video. This is the Volume Mascara. Really janky wand, but it really delivers long lashes and it's so pretty. These are both a $4, $4.99 mascara. They're so beautiful. My Absolute favorite one though is the Lash Princess False Effect Mascara because it's got volume, it's got length, it's got thickening, it makes my lashes look fake and beautiful and just, it's so pretty. Another mascara that I absolutely love that is right at that $10 price point is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. That is one of my favorites. That is also another dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. Actually, it's, it's a better formula than Better Than Sex because it really is very volumizing. It really fills your lashes and it separates them. And it has that hourglass mascara wand as well. It's really, really beautiful. And a lot of the CoverGirl mascaras are really beautiful and they're right at that like $10 price point. So I definitely think that those should be included in this video because they're just so good. Now for my, my janky wonky eyebrows, there are only a couple of under $10 that are like really, really worth mentioning. And the first one would have to be the e.l.f. Brow Lift, the dupe for the ABH Brow Freeze. This is such a great brow freeze. Like I use this every single day and it really just like sticks them in place. It's like done. And it is a little finicky to work with at first. Like you can just dig your spoolie in and you put way too much on and it feels like your eyebrows are like plastered to your face. I mean, if you want that, that's fine. Once you master how to get the perfect amount that you like on your eyebrows, this is such a great formula to work with. It really does stick my eyebrows and they don't move at all, like not throughout the day. Like they're not going anywhere. Like it doesn't matter if there's a tornado outside, my eyebrows are not moving. They're, they're not moving. Another one for eyebrow gel because that's what I've really been into lately is just that whole soap brow effect. We have the clear brow gel from Ulta Beauty. This comes with like the teeny tiniest of wands which makes it like super, super easy to use. And this one is a little bit more flexible than the brow lift from e.l.f. It still holds your eyebrows in place and you just, you with this teeny tiny 
little spoolie here, it makes it really, really easy to distribute the product evenly throughout your eyebrows. Now, if you don't pat it into your eyebrows, then you may have a little bit of a white cast. So that is a tip I have for this eyebrow gel. There you have it, the rest of the under $10 from the drugstore that has to do with eyes, lips, and brows. Now, I hope you guys liked this series. If you wanna see more of affordable makeup from the drugstore, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.